Today is day one that I'm building my newsletter app. So the first task that I'm going to do is focus on building the user interface. And what I like to do when I work on a task is I like to break things down into the smaller tasks. And so it's easy to do and it's manageable. And so we can track the progress as well. And if today I finish all of this task, I'm going to focus on another task, which is create an API. But as of now, let's try to focus on finish this task first. So this project I'm using Next.js and ShapCN and to install it's really easy. Just follow Next.js documentation and also follow ShapCN documentation. And I'm using dark mode by default because I really like dark mode. And one thing that I like to share with you is the font. And currently I really like this font so much. I'm not sure I can pronounce this font name. It's Recollage. Hopefully I spell it right. And but I leave the link in the description if you want to use this font as well. It's really nice on the bowls. For UI inspiration, as always, I go to Triple and search for a newsletter. And for the newsletter, I think the UI is really simple. So most of the UI, they have the form and the title to display, and then the message regarding the newsletter. And I think every newsletter will have that one. And after scrolling a bit of this one, I think I cannot find the UI that I really like and copy from this one. So right now, let's try to follow the standard UI here that we going to have the text, the message, and the form and then we can build this first and later we can see if we going to need to update it or not all right so let's try to do that this component is really easy i managed to do it really quick and but the first draft is do not have any color so it's just black and white so i wanted to add some effects some color into this one so i'm using externity adding the background grid and also adding the text gradient to our title now it's look a lot better in my opinion so i really like this new style so let me know what do you think about this style so right now we finished this ui so i need to work on the email validation so i only accept gmail and outlooks only so the reason that i only accept this one is because i don't want anyone to spam the fake gmail or any temp temporary email so i don't want to send the email to that one so i only accept gmail and the outlook only For email validation is really easy. I'm using Zot to check if it's email and I check if the email is end with Gmail or is end with Outlook, it's going to return true. And if it's not end with this true, I'm going to return false. And then we're going to display the message that only supports Gmail and Outlooks. And for the task right here, I'm going to use the sooner and it look really nice. So let me show you what this look like. So right now, for example, I'm using the wrong email. So what you can see right here, the Gmail here is wrong. So it should be end with Gmail. So it's also have the message that say only support Gmail and Outlook. And if I make it right, the error is gone. And when I press enter, so you can see we have tossed an error that please check your inbox. Right here, we have the doubles right here. I think this is due to in the development mode. So when we on production, this is only toss only one times only. All right, so right now we complete our task. We allow Gmail and task notification is complete. I think I have some time to create an API for this one. So right now let's try to create some to do for our API that's going to do the subscribe right here. All right, so let's do that. So this is the to do that I'm going to the next day. So which I'm going to create an API subscribe API. And so for this one, I need to generate the magic link. So for that, I need to set up with super base. And so if the user is very fine, I need to store them inside the database. And also I need to do the rate limited as well. I allow only three requests per IP address. So which means they can be able to submit this form right here only three times per day. And so if they exceed that, so they will go and wait until the next day in order to do that again. So this is we avoid the user spams. And 
we need to create a redirect page after they verify so that it, um, it's going to be say thank you for verify and things like that and that is going to be the next task that I'm going to do for tomorrow so I don't want to do much for today because this is just a side project I don't want it to burn out by building too much on this one so I take my time to do the other thing as well and basically we try to make things fun and enjoy so that's that's my goal so all right so i'm gonna keep this one for tomorrow so if you haven't joined my discord yet so right now i create a channel that dedicate to the newsletter project that we have the daily update and the link of the demo so if you have finished this project already you can post your link right here so i can review your uh, project and if you have any update you can just update inside this channel so you can talk about the tech stack that you use and any things like that so people can help and uh, you with the if you using the same technology and if you use the same technology as me you can post a question here as well so i can help you if you have any problem all right so right now as always thank you for watching and see you in the next videos